I am Anil Kumar and here is a test question for you. You can pause the video, copy the question, answer and then look into my suggestions. We are working on vectors and we are exploring equations of lines in R3. The question here is determine vector symmetric and parametric equation of the line with x intercept at 2 and z intercept at minus 3. So when I say x intercept, let me call this point as let's say a. So the position vector will be x intercept is 2. So it is 2, 0, 0, right? So that is the x intercept. z intercept at minus 3. Let's say this is the position vector. We can also write OB and OA, right? So if I write do, do that, so OB will be Z intercept is minus 3. So that gives us 0, 0, minus 3 as the position vector for Z equals to, I mean, Z intercept at minus 3. Now from these, we can find the direction vector. So let's say direction vector D is OB minus OA, right? So OB is 0, 0, minus 3, minus OA, which is 2, 0, 0. That gives us minus 2, 0, minus 3. Now it is important to see that we could have written this with minus outside. So I could have written the direction as 2, 0, 3, right? Both are same directions. When we are talking about lines, we may say it is going like this or like this, one and the same thing, right? So, so that is perfect. It is better to write in this fashion since we would like to keep this, the direction along x kind of positive most of the times, right? So that gives us the vector equation. We can use any one of these points. Let's use OA. So we can say the vector equation x, y, z is equal to the x-intercept, which is 2, 0, 0, plus the parameter t times 2, 0, 3, right? So that gives us the vector equation for the given condition where x and y intercepts are given to us. Treat x and y intercepts as two separate points, right? So if you know two points, you can always find equation of the line. Now the idea is to convert this to the other form, symmetric and parametric form. So let's write down the parametric form first, where x, y, and z are written as x equals to 2 plus 2t, right? 2 plus 2t. As far as y is concerned, it is 0 plus 0, that means the y value is 0, and x far as z is concerned, it is 0 plus 3t, right? So I could write this as 3t. So that becomes the parametric equation, right? So let me write down parametric equation here. This one is vector equation. Okay, now we can write the symmetric equation from here. To write symmetric, we have to isolate this t. So working with the first equation, we could write this as x minus 2 divided by 2, right? So normally, when you want to write the symmetric equation, let me write down symmetric equation. In that case, we'll say x minus 2 divided by this 2 is equal to t, right? Now y is, in this case, always 0. So we'll keep this separate. We'll write y equals to 0. And z is equals to 3t, or t is z divided by 3. So we can write this as z divided by 3. So that becomes the symmetric equation in the given case, right? Now remember one thing, whenever we use this parameter t, it's good practice to always mention that t belongs to real numbers, right? So in this parametric equation, t belongs to real numbers. 
So that is how we can actually write each kind of equation from the given condition. I hope that helps. Thank you and all the best.